Hello everybody, Domino Meal here, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Cross Codes. Yeah, it's the fourth episode. Wow, three episodes already. Nothing has happened in those three episodes besides story and tutorials. Well, this episode, we're actually going to do stuff. Whoa! I mean, compared to other RPGs, uh, <laughs> compared to other RPGs, uh, this is a really fast tutorial segment. And I mean, yeah, that's good. That's really good. I like fast tutorials. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, well, I was going to say I wish Xenoblade 2 took that advice to heart, but no, Xenoblade 2 is kind of too expeditious with its tutorials. <laughs> they don't tell you a damn thing in that game. <laughs> Uh, I think the old man just, uh, told us to defeat ten hedgehogs, so we'll, we'll defeat ten hedgehogs. So, we have a different party member now, or a, a party member. And this game wanted to tell us earlier that if we keep a combo going and keep attacking enemies before we disengage from the battle... And yes, the battle can be continued from on screen. Or from different screens. That if we keep doing this, if we keep going, then we will raise our rank. What happens when we raise our rank? Well, enemies will get to drop more items. Uh, like rarer items and all that. And it's honestly just more satisfying. And, oh right, in the circuit, I upgraded my melee attack, so I got the skill of doing a spin whenever I press ZR. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm continuing that combo. Let's just talk to this guy. He has a side quest. Oh, blah, blah, blah. hello, Seeker. Hi! How very fortunate, I just finished my preparations, and even found the exact kind of seeker I was looking for. Good, good seeker, I'm in desperate need of help. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, 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 you're still here? Uh, yeah, that is most unexpected, I must say. People often rather choose to ignore me. I don't suppose you would like to help me? Yeah, I sure let's help him. Really? Sp no! Stop it with the stutters! You're overdoing it with the stutters! This is just a bug. God damn it! Why is every Let's Play Bug Fables? Every Let's Play I do, I compare it to Bug Fables. <laughs> bug Fables is my worst LP! Wow, that's quite the statement coming from me. <laughs> oh no. Taking a sip. <laughs> okay, let me introduce myself first. I'm Henry. Henry the Researcher. I study the spy moons Flora and Fabana. What is your name? Leia! A fine name, a fine name indeed. I will remember it. <laughs> okay. You see, I want to gather some data for Autumn's Rise, but it seems that I alone can't gather everything I want. The tr track of the Ancients only allows Seekers to find certain things. I can compile the list of things I need, First, I need some items and information on the local wildlife. Additionally, I need a list of all the... Okay. Need you to retrieve a probe. Gather all the intel. So... Yeah, yeah. He just gave us, like, four quests. Five, actually. But... Uh... So... Yes. Favorite all of these, and 
we'll just do them as we go. So one of them is uh, defeating enemies. We'll do that naturally, because we need to level up. The other is collecting materials. We also do that naturally. Uh, explore all of Autumn's Rise and find all the landmarks. That's also done naturally if you want to explore the whole area and see what you can get from, like, goodies. And the data probe, uh, you do need to seek that out a little bit, but it's not too far out of the way. <laughs> okay. I think I have another... No, I don't. I thought I had another circuit point for some reason. So, a couple episodes ago, first episode, I was comparing this game's plotline to that of Dot Hack. And if you don't. Okay. If you haven't watched me before, and for some reason you clicked on this Let's Play, and you're still watching this for some reason, without context of who I am, well, whatever. You don't need context of a Let's Player to watch them. But if for some reason you decide to watch this Let's Play and start with this one for my channel, instead of looking at Mario Party or... Mario Party? <laughs> or, I guess, Mario Galaxy or even Xenoblade or Bug Fables. I, I give Bug Fables a bit of shit, but that was actually kind of a fun Let's Play. I just, uh, very embarrassed by a few moments in that Let's Play. Uh, so if you aren't familiar with, uh, some of my hobbies, uh, then you wouldn't know that I really, yeah, I watch anime. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a degenerate. Well, no, but, like, I do watch a lot of anime. I do have a My Anime list. It's literally the same name as my channel, or the same account name. I don't have a banner for my anime list, but not like that matters. So, if for some reason you want to check out my anime list, you can by just entering Dominomial in my anime list for the profile, or like the account name. And if you see a giant Tetris teeth block, then you know you've got the right place. Or the right, uh, account. Okay. Um. No, but... Okay, Dot .hack is an anime. I, I will explain that right now. And... It is... Uh, it's not a good anime. Well, okay. It, it's not bad, either. It's not good or bad. It's just fine. It's fine. It's like a 6 out of 10. Uh, funny thing is, about that anime, it's either a love or... It's a, it's a love-hate relationship, either. Or, it, you either love it or you hate it. It's one of those kinds of things. Oh, right. There's other side quests. Um, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know... So this is part of the side quest that we got from that shady dude last episode, where you have to defeat a ton of hedgehogs in a rainy area, which, uh, I mean, you can technically do the side quest now, but it was highlighted red, which means it's a bit harder to do than normal, even if you're at the same level. But this, this area gives a lot of good EXP, like... If you want, you can just grind EXP here until, like, you reach about, like, level 10. Because, honestly, that, like, you do need to grind a little bit in this game. And you usually grind by doing side quests, but if you don't want to do side quests, you can just kill enemies, a shit ton of them. Like, I leveled up right there, just from that battle. And... Uh, I have one circuit point. I wanna... Uh... Uh... Let's, uh... Hmm. I, 
I kind of like this so that I can get the last step. Yeah, no, I don't want to. So now I have a special for when I press ZR, I can throw a big ball projectile. That's neat, huh? <laughs> that is really neat. No, but okay, okay. Let, let me get back onto the topic I was talking about. Dot Hack. It is an anime. It is actually kind of an old one. It looks like made in like early 2000, no, late 90s. It was made in the 90s. And then there's a game on PS2, I think, that's like canon to the storyline. I don't really care about that shit. I just watched Dot Hack sign the first one. It's like, eh, it's okay. Not gonna watch the rest. And that's what I did. But the story of Dot Hack is like <laughs> really similar to this one, where uh, the main character is stuck in an MMO for some reason or another, and uh, I guess he's. Uh, He's, uh... I don't really want to go too much into detail about the plot of Dot .hack, because they actually do use a similar trope in... Well, yeah, of course they use similar tropes in that anime in, in this game. But, like, if I talk about, like, what, like, the... Uh, the problem in Dot .hack is, like, the main problem the main character has to overcome, then... Oh, fuck yes. So we meet again! Mondo, not this guy again. Hi! Good. I see your level is now in an acceptable range. As if that one level would have made a big difference. However, your previous actions have not been forgotten. Being a cheater is bad as it is. But seeing a Spheromancer displaying such dishonest behavior, it breaks my heart. What? We Spheromancers are a noble yet unappreciated class. I can't allow a player like you to further damage our reputation. Wait, you're a Spheromancer too? Why, of course! Don't you see my striking, crimson outfit? Oh! Pardon, I thought you were a triblader with all that green hair and pointy hair. Er, er, <laughs> yeah, okay. It's my style. It's plain to see that fashion is beyond your grasp. Sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking to you, blue-haired spheromancer. Leia. I challenge you to a duel! Time for a d -d 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 duel. <laughs> oh, that was actually in sync with the music. Well, it was unintentionally in sync. I just messed up. Wait, what? Come on, we just started playing. Of course, we won't do it right here and now. Let's have our duel at the entrance of Bergen Trail. I'll test your skills properly to make sure you don't use any more dishonest methods. Are you serious? Do you accept blue-haired Spheromancer? Leia? Good. I'll be waiting for you. And off he goes again. Are you sure it's okay to accept this challenge just like that? Dako? Or I don't know how to pronounce that one. It's your choice. Then let's make sure you're well prepared. I want you to kick this guy's derriere. Come on, let's train. Okay. I hope my French accent is okay, like I said before in the last episode. I'm not going to repeat this every episode, but if somebody comes in out of context and realizes I may be doing an offensive French accent, that's why. I don't mean to offend people, I'm just bad. <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting all defensive over my my fake accent. My pretend accent that I don't know how to do. Wow, it's like I don't speak French. It's more like I took Spanish for four years in high school. Pero no more. 
No, no muy bueno en hablo. No hablo español muy bueno. Oh, cuatro años de español. Y, y, oh. uh, y, y yo tengo uh, seis uh, cosas. I, I don't think that's how you. I don't think that's how you say word. In, whatever. You get the point. I took four years of Spanish. I'm still shit. <laughs> I still shit. Granted, I haven't practiced since then, but like. I never really learned Spanish. I just kind of learned how to do the assignments. And I got the hang of it, kind of, after, like, year three of Spanish. But I just uh, couldn't... Uh, I don't know. I just... I'm bad, <laughs> I'm bad at language. Come on. So, there is a tree on this pathway that we need to, uh, cure. Uh, I think there isn't really a good way to do this right now. Sorry, I, I'm drifting away from the mic. I'm just, uh... Oh, no. Totally can. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where is this tree? This is when depth perception is really needed in a game like this. I apparently don't have shit depth perception. Uh... My depth perception is awful. See, like that. I thought I could jump on that platform. I can't! You're going to see me fail at depth perception a lot in this game. Yeah, but if you're curious where my last topic was about the anime dot hack and what such, uh, basically there's a lot of similarities and tropes between this and dot hack, and dot hack started a lot of anime tropes, like, uh, well, I don't know if it started them in particular, but it was one of the first animes to do anime tropes, like the isekai genre. Genre, quote-unquote. I don't really know if it's a genre, like an official genre, or just like a fan-made one, but it is considered a genre by anime viewers. And that's where you're living life in another world. Like, uh, I don't know, what's the popular one? ReZero. ReZero, the shitty one. <laughs> Um, yeah, that one's an isekai. There's also Konosuba, like, the most popular one. That's also an isekai, if you need a couple examples. Uh, basically, if the main character gets hit by Truck-Kun at the beginning and dies, and gets revived in another world, it's an isekai. If there's any revivals in a different world, then it's an isekai. And it's kind of... This is kind of like a sub-genre of isekai. It's not technically an isekai. Well, it is, but eh, it's considered an isekai, this game, like genre, because you are living life in an MMO. Uh, well, damn it, I just accidentally spoiled part of it, but it was kind of obvious to begin with. Like, you can't really get out of this game. There's no real-life segments in this game about playing as Leia in real life. But, like, okay, this game may have anime tropes, but tropes aren't necessarily a bad thing. They're just cliches that are used to tell a story. Which... Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, shit, that bounce hit the mole. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, but that's basically all I was getting at. There's a lot of tropes in this game, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game story-wise. This game actually has a pretty good story for being an MMO Isekai, which is like the same as Sword Art Online or Dot .hack. Um... Okay, where am I? Off-road one. I'm just doing this quest right now. I'm just kind of... Whatever. So, yeah, actually, I'm just dancing back and forth between topics that I never finished. I should have just finished the one about language, whatever. Anyway, I was talking about how I took four years of Spanish in high school. Yeah, uh... Well, actually, I didn't take... Well, no, okay. Uh... My last year of high school, I didn't take the Spanish class, because... Back in middle school, back when I, uh, didn't... Lived somewhere else, I'm not going to specify where, just for the sake of, uh... Anonymity. But... Back when I lived somewhere else, <laughs> I took uh, one year of uh, Spanish in middle school, and then I had to suddenly move out, and, uh, well, let's just say that my, uh, I couldn't exactly finish first year Spanish class, so... Basically, what happened in high school, or middle school, like, after I, I took middle school here, I was... Yeah, I only had to take one year of middle school here, thank god. But, um... Yeah. So I had to finish, uh, first year of Spanish. Midway through, in a completely different environment, which was completely stressful. I didn't learn a damn thing during that last half year when I was somewhere else. Um, and so, then I, like, even the teacher hated me too, uh, which, yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, that teacher was known for not being the nicest, that whatever. But, <laughs> I somehow finished Spanish 1, even though I didn't learn a fucking thing after, uh, yeah, th that's the switch port for you. It just legs like that randomly sometimes. I don't know, but I somehow passed Spanish 1, and just, like, end of that part of the story. Then I went on to take Spanish 2 in high school, second year. Uh, let me just say... It... Second year of Spanish is really difficult. You have to learn all the conjugations by then. Well, for American education, anyway. I don't know if you learn, like... Like, I don't know if, uh... Cooling veil. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's, uh piece of equipment. What? It's level 11. Okay. I guess heat resistance. Cool. Yeah, but second year of Spanish was really stressful. I... You need to learn all the conjugations, past tense, present tense, everything else. Well, except for, like, some of the really complicated stuff, like, uh, past participles and all that stuff. And... Hmm. Yeah. Oh. There's a tree here, if I believe. So yeah, I failed Spanish 2, or I six, I technically passed it, 
But, like, the teacher gave me the recommendation of... You should retake the class. Because if you go any further with how you are now, you aren't going to know a damn thing. So I took that advice, and I decided to retake the class, and I had to take Spanish 2 two years in a row. How fucking awful is that? Uh... Yeah, but... I took Spanish 3. Spanish 3 was actually kind of fun. I... With Spanish 3, I changed teachers. Or, no, it was second year Spanish 2. And my teacher changed, and the second teacher I had, like, everybody hated her for some reason. Like, everybody considered all the Spanish teachers to be pretty bad. I don't know why. The first one I had, like, everybody loved her, but she hated me. But the second teacher I had, everybody hated her, but, like, both of us, we had a mutual understanding. Like, I didn't fuck with her, she didn't fuck with me. <laughs> I say that as if I'm some kind of, like, rough and tumble, like, edgy high schooler. No, like, no. Um, <laughs> no. It's just, like, we respected each other's space and distance, and, like, we, we knew. We knew. We knew each other. We understood each other. That's the point I was getting across. I'll continue this after this dialogue. Huh. I hope we don't get lost around here. Ah, over there! Seems we have to head northwest to reach Burger Trail. I hope it's not too far. I'll, I'll have to log out sooner or later, you see? Oh, don't worry, I'll stay until you beat up Mr. Grasser. And please don't hurry too much because of me. We have to make... make <laughs> Okay, I want, like, before I started this Let's Play, I watched, like, one tiny snippet of how to do a French accent. They said, don't pronounce the H. I don't know if that's overdoing it or not, but whatever. We have to make sure you're well-trained, no? Alright then, sus pate. <laughs> sus party? Uh, no, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. Hmm, that is right. We have been playing for a long while now, Leia. Anyway, I suppose there is still time for you to face that duel. Come on, Leia. Uh... I think I'm underleveled. I don't know why I fought this... <laughs> fought this mole. Okay. Yeah. I have a weird uh, history with learning Spanish. Because as a kid, like growing up, I had the opportunity to be bilingual. Because my mom spoke uh, both English and Spanish. And she would go about the way of like teaching me both, or like speaking both in front of me. Like, uh, she would hang out with her friends that, like, spoke Spanish, and I would try and learn how to speak Spanish. Or, like, I would absorb that information as a kid, because, like, what, what else do you do? As a kid, when you learn languages, you absorb information. Uh, and also, like, when just hanging out normally with, like, the rest of the family, she would speak English. And, uh... Well, so since one had a clear one language had a clear bias against the other, like which was more used, I immediately assumed that oh, English must be the better language. So as a kid, like a, a five-year-old kid or whatever, I was like, "Hey, mom, uh, I." I don't want to learn Spanish anymore. It's too confusing while also learning English. I kid you not, I said something like that along those lines. And, like... Or something like that. But, like, essentially I was, like, as a kid, like... 
Hey, I don't... I can't keep up with two languages at once. Can you just simplify it down to English for me? And... That's what she did. Which... I mean... <laughs> she was listening to a five-year-old me. She should have just said, No, you're also learning Spanish. Uh... I don't know, I'm not here to talk about how my mom should have parented me. I, I love my mom. Wow, uh... <laughs> but yeah, like... I basically lost the opportunity to learn two languages and grow up being able to use two languages at once. Because my kid self was a jackass and said, Hey, I don't want to learn two languages. I just want to stick with one primary language. What the fuck, past self? I hate you. I hate you, past self. Why did you... Why did my five-year-old self have the brilliant idea to suggest, Hey, I don't want to learn Spanish. Oh, man. It would have been so cool to be able to fluently speak Spanish, too. Not only would I ha be able to do English Let's Plays, I would be able to do Spanish ones! Ugh. <laughs> uh. Ugh. Now, now, now just thinking about it makes me a little bit frustrated, not gonna lie. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, and like, learning like, okay, I'm not like, going to break too much about like, Spanish class, but I will say that during, like, while learning Spanish, I had the accent, like, locked down, except for fucking rolling R's, I can't roll R's for the life of me. But everybody in their first few years of learning Spanish had a lot of trouble getting used to the accent and like, pronouncing the, uh, vowels. Uh, a e o u. Uh, I rushed that a little bit, so I might have messed it up a tiny bit. But ah, uh, a e o u. And for some reason, everybody just couldn't get the hang of it because, ev well, of course, they were all used to speaking English. But because I had those few years of also learning Spanish as a kid, like <laughs> the like two years, and like learning basic stuff like numbers and uh, I don't know. Uh, Hello, my name is, uh, Ola, uh, Meiyama <laughs> Dominic. Because I had, like, like, one or two years of learning simple language in Spanish, I already kind of knew the accent just from, like, when I was a kid. And everybody was, like, talking in Spanish, like, Ola, uh, well, no, no, not that bad. But, like, they couldn't get the vowels down, which, I don't know. I felt really proud when I knew how to say Spanish vowels when everybody else was still getting used to it, and then once they caught up, they were all smarter than me because, uh, I'm bad at learning languages. Maybe I should have taken French. Bear cicadas? What? Okay. Whoa! I went on for a long time. Uh, I don't know how long this episode is, guys. I kind of got carried away. <laughs> I hope it's a manageable enough length. I am going to save the game here because, uh... Because... I probably should. Anyway. I... I think that's it for me this session, because we're not going to go fight uh, the, the, the Spheromancer yet right away, because uh, we're underleveled for that, and we need to explore the rest of this area and kill some more monsters. But in the next episode, we will continue exploring. We'll do some of those side quests that we got, and maybe we'll make it to the Bergen Trail entrance. Probably. Being hopeful here. The beginning of this game is really slow compared to the rest of it. But, next episode, we'll 
yeah, we'll, we'll just continue exploring. So, see you then. Bye.